What's going on guys back at it with another video this one I'm actually very excited to be starting a brand new series and of course I'm extra double Super excited to be starting it today because today is my birthday August 21st So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this character created by the time you see this again You're gonna see the character already done. So let's skip to that right now all right, so it's not much different than what it actually came with right off the bat, but with, you know, this is my character. I tried to make it as close as I could with the actual choices and options allotted to me in the game, but obviously there isn't a whole lot to do as far as character uh, customization, so this is basically what I got. I got longer hair, so of course this is pretty much the only option that I had, and of course I have my beard. But you guys have already seen me, so this is as close as I can get it to me. So, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get ready to jump into this game. What can we do when Looks our last pretty. hope fails? That. Hey, look, there's you me. Must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you. In search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix. Blazing in flames of Man, the graphics are pretty decent, actually. But our hero never came home. Only the storm. The beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. Your journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower. Learn what became of our warrior. Face what lurks within. When our last hope uh -oh. fails, don't drown, dude. Don't drown. Shall take we just started place. the game. So long as we have breath. Oh, good, I survived. <laughs> Those gloves literally remind me of Naruto's little head thing. Oh, this is this is the game. Oh man, this is pretty. Alright, so beat a crouch. This looks pretty amazing actually. I was expecting a lot less from a game at this price point. Alright, so how do I do this? Alright, right trigger to melee attack. Got it. Pick up items X. I'm assuming that's Let's see. They can be found. Purchases consumables will automatically be equipped. It okay tracking. So what does the one that I just picked up do? Okay, so up is to restore health. Looks like I do need it. So let's go ahead and use it now. Oh, so this is one of those. It increases health over time situation. Uh -oh. That doesn't sound very nice. So, I've played Dark Souls before, of course, and if this is anything like Dark Souls, uh, I legit have more trouble getting two bosses than the bosses themselves. But hopefully... Hopefully this is the same type of formula. I hear it is, but 
We'll see. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. So when do I get my gun? Oh! You just threw something at me. So I am playing on PC, but I'm playing with a control. Oh, I'm like, I'm legit like crazy right now because I heard footsteps and it turns out it was just my own. So how do I target? Yeah, I, I need, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to target. But, oh well. Alright, can I go in here? Does not appear like I can. Oh, I hear somebody. Can I go in here? I cannot. It sounds like somebody's in there though. But, I mean, if this isn't obvious, I don't know what is. Obviously something's about to fall from the sky. Oh, gosh. Got him. Can I run in vault? Oh, I could. Got him. So far, this game looks pretty legit. That's not gonna lie. Look at the waves, dude. That looks awesome. Where is this guy fighting, man? I feel like I need to go save him, but I don't know where he is. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, there they are. When do I get my first gun? Oh, this dude's gonna die. Hang on! dead oh man we need to get out of there man oh am I about to fight all these guys there you go be the smart guy and run Yes, ma'am. Hurry up, be okay. Get back coming! It's safe here. Maybe the only safe place there is. I'm Wallace. Hi, Wallace. I, I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. How did I get here? Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riegler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. 
I'm sorry, bud. Please. Was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll you know, you I later. actually really love that there's like role-playing uh, mechanics into this. Let's explore this room really quick. Hey, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. This is obviously just a room built for its purpose. I think I'm supposed to come this way. Oh, is this her? Well, well. Look who's awake. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. Where's my weapon? It's with Riggs downstairs. If everything checks out here, I'll see you get it back. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there, or we'll let the root have you. I'm trying to get to that island tower across the water. Hmm. No one has been in that tower in a very long time. That's why I'm trying to but get there. You've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But, now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what, you wanna leave? You'll have to do something for us first. Of course, what can I do? First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. Of course. So where is this reactor? The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. Okay, but that sure seems pretty easy enough. <laughs> Nothing around here is easy. Watch your back. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs about your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. Alrighty, let's go get our sword back. Although I do kind of want a gun. It's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. Uh, did you help me? I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Riggler. <laughs> Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your, uh, sword hmm, was pretty banged up in the fight. Not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. Think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. Oh, sounds like Ace is probably dead. You, who are you? Keep walking, stranger. Oh, well, that's nice of you. All right, so I guess let's just go to the reactor. Alright, so it looks like my stamina bar is right under my health bar, so that's pretty easy enough to keep track. So this guy you said that it was a hell of a here. time to visit the war, friend. What is this? Alrighty. Why do I get the feeling that this is gonna be a tough situation down here? Hello. What? Where the hell did you come from?
come from? Canada. <sighs> Nearly scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? No, Name's not really. Ace, Ace Cotterill? You? What are you doing here? Looking for my friend, Les. He said he was coming down here to fix a few things. That was days ago. Oh, he's no dead. I haven't seen him since. Everyone else wrote him off, but not me. I think maybe he... You know. Yeah, so do I. Was he trying to fix the reactor or something? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Come to think of it, that's probably what he tried to do. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure he found some quiet place to sit things out, you know? He'll turn up. So, you ever start a reactor? <laughs> nope. Well, it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky for you, it's just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Of course. Let's see if I can find you something. All right, so Scrapper. The Scrapper specializes in close-range combat uh, and melee damage. Armed with devastating shotgun, sturdy Reaper pistol, and a massive scrap hammer. Okay, so this looks like the up-close-and-personal dude. That's probably why he's heavily armored. Ex-cultist, uh, specializes in mid-range combat. Powerful coach gun. Okay, I, I can dig a coach gun. Uh, Reaper pistol and a deadly scrap hatchet. The ex-cultist contro uh, cultist controls the mid-range with excellent burst damage. Their mod, uh, Mender's Aurora... Cast an area of effect that heals, that gradually restores health for all teammates. That sounds pretty cool. I I like the way he looks too. Hunter, I'm assuming this is a long range dude. So the hunter specializes in long range combat, armed with an ultra precise hunting rifle, sturdy reaper pistol, scrap sword. Uh. No, actually, I think I like this. It's kind of like the middle of two. Plus, I love his aesthetic, even though I know these kinds of games have a lot of, you know, armor mods and s stuff like that. Like, outfits that get you, you know, different things. So, I'm going to go ahead with this for now. There. That should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. <laughs> So, all right, let's go this way. But I get the feeling that as soon as I push this button, we're gonna we're gonna get attacked by everything. Look 
where are these guys at? Don't worry, homegirl. We go oh, you didn't even finish them off. Ah, I fell. Ah! Back to back, taking out the foes. Look at that. <sighs> there. That should do it. Yep, I think it would. Fuck good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Will Come do. visit my shop sometime, yeah. Oh, you're a vendor. I'll make sure to give you the good in a bike discount. Awesome sauce. Work with the reactor, friend. Make a good team. All right, so now we got to go back to Ford, which was, I think that was the commander, right? I don't know. I should probably be paying more attention. <laughs> So it should be right up here, level one. Alrighty. Uh, sure, it's good to have some light around here. Yeah, I look You're risking off. a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Uh, my mission is more important than the risks. Uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Absolutely. Word moves fast when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? Well, I mean, I'll try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Uh, here, I want you to have this. Now, many Dragon people hearts. keep the spirits out there in the world. An old friend told me. This little bobble can keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space. Oh, you're a vendor there. too? <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. Sounds good. But that stone there, free of charge. Take Dude, that's care. awesome. Thank you for your help. For real. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, <laughs> Commander Ford. She knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. But you picked a hell of a awesome. time to visit the ward, friend. So the Dragon Heart can be used to replenish lost health. There are, limited, uh, there are a limited number of uses before its power is depleted. Dragon Hearts can change. Uh, Dragon Heart char charges are replenished after resting at a checkpoint or dying. Oh, traveler. Got it. So let's go talk to Commander Ford. For some reason, every single time I hear Commander Ford, I always get the like this like thought in my head of Commander Keen for some reason. <laughs> hey, homegirl. Glad to see you got the reactor running. Did you expect anything less of me? And I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Absolutely. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. He actually thinks I have it. Actually, you know what? He mentioned the founder of War, of War 13. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool. But his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. I'll take whatever help you can give me. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. Of course. Go see Riggs and McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. Awesome sauce. Hope I get, like, that cool outfit that... That was in the when you got to choose your class 
Wait, who am I supposed to see? Reggie? Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city. As a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Absolutely. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Riggs can upgrade your guns and armor with materials found in the world by defeating enemies. Upgrading your guns and armor is essential to keeping your increased difficulty okay, so awesome. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. 102 damage? That's nice. I feel like I would need that coach gun. Even though I haven't even used it yet, to be honest. Alright, hey now, that's better. <clears throat> oh, and uh, take this. Oh it's yes, I get that awesome stuff, outfit. More protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. Dude, that looks freaking awesome. Uh... Can you even spare the supplies? It's true. We don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. Yeah. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future. Come see me. Dude, you're awesome. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. Will you do. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. Thank you. Is this her? So you're the stray Ford was talking about. And what exactly did Ford say? <laughs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. I like and her we're bandana. Words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm not nice. some scrap peddler. Got it? I don't upgrade trash. Are you always this grumpy? It's the apocalypse. I can be as grumpy as I damn well please. Yeah, well, you make a point. Let's see what we're dealing with here. This will help keep you on your feet. Along with anyone else fool enough to join you. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Yeah, well, either way, thank you for helping me out. Yeah, yeah. Weapon mods are used to augment the power of your ranged weapons. When equipped, a weapon generates mod power by inflicting damage on enemy targets. When the power meter is full, press RB to activate the weapon mod. Oh, awesome. Some weapon mods activate immediately. Others act, uh, activate an alternative fire mode for the weapon, allowing you to shoot powerful projectiles, uh, projectiles with devastating effects. Weapon mods can be equipped by going into the inventory screen, selecting a range weapon, and hitting X to equip a weapon mod to that weapon. Awesome. Well, I got my upgrades, so now let's go back to Commander Keen. I mean, Ford. Whoa, what is that thing? Good to see you more equipped. Well, you're Riggs very welcome. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Awesome Take sauce. It. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. The Delta With any key. luck, we can get the thing running. And if this blows us all to hell? Well, here's hoping it doesn't. Absolutely. Kind of feels like a nuclear key card. So can I use this computer? 
hit any key to continue of course it's not a key it's a controller but alrighty initiate Dalta <laughs> What is this thing? This is oh no, it's gonna explode. That thing looks awesome. Really something, isn't it? Yes it is. I, I read about it, but I never saw it working. This red eye might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. So you mentioned the founder. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there searching and one day he didn't come back I never knew what happened to him did he leave any clues to the root there's a room just outside the ward all his notes any hint of where he went it's there if you want to reach the atoll he may be the last one who knew how to get there Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you. Good luck. Let's go check this out really quick. Use checkpoint. Oh, that's what it is. So this is like the barn, the bonfires from, from Dark Souls. Track. Oh, and it's a fast travel of thing too. So travel. Can I travel anywhere? Founder's hideout. So I'm assuming this is the founder's hideout. Earth. Okay. So it looks like there's different locations I can go. So right now I can fast travel, but I'm not gonna fast travel. This was the end of the tutorial section. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for right now. Uh, if you guys are uh, really want to watch this series, of course, definitely go ahead and do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because I will be doing a lot of uh, Let's Play videos until I finish the game, of course. And, of course, ring the no notification bell because that's the only way that YouTube is going to notify you every single time I drop a brand new Remnant fall from the ashes video or episode or whatever you want to call it so with that being said once again thank you guys for watching don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll catch you guys on the next video deuces